Hello, everyone. Welcome back. And sorry if my voice sounds like shit. I've pretty much been sick all week. I love it. But I'm dedicated, so I'm going to do the best I can and get through these next few episodes because I don't want to go without uploading Resident Evil for more than a day. So anyways, um, off screen I went ahead and did game uh, C for the shooting range and I got 35,000 gil. Very nice. And I also went ahead and sold... I think I did. Let me see. Check my menu. Key treasures. Yeah, so I went ahead and sold some spindles and some other stuff and I kept the crown jewel and the crown still there and I'll show you why. Okay, um... Where's my weapons? Okay, uh, everything looks pretty good. Got a few herbs, we're looking okay. So let's head on to the next area, why not? Alright. Through the big doors we go. Yahoo! Yes. And, uh, where the hell is Ashley? I tell you. Who knows? But we got... Ganados! Not Ganados! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh! Oh, burn! Alright, we should be able to take this guy out with the knife. I think the other guy's still alive. Yep. He's dead. Pretty easy. I don't know, they go from hard to putting two villagers here, but I guess that's because they know what's coming! Alright, anything here? N oh, yes. Velvet blue. See, it's easy to miss some of these treasures if you don't look around, like these velvet blues and all this other stuff, but... Luckily, we're good. Right, handgun ammo, rifle ammo, nice, nice. Continue on. Now this part's a little tricky because there's stupid guys that shoot stuff at you from far away. Alright, so now we got a whole mess of uh, guys over here. Let's see if I can shoot them from up here. I try to take them out from here, some of these guys, because they throw axes. Okay, you know, the last thing I need is a guy throwing an axe at me. Alright, that one's dead. See, we got a guy coming up here. I could have, I could have kicked him off the ladder, but I did it. Oh well. Someone's shooting something at me. I don't know who it is. Where is he? Ah, it's that guy. I knew it. All right, so I'll just take him out from up here. Let's get him. Get him! Burn him! Die! There you go. Use your idol. God, I hate these guys. Jeez! There. Now we got a dynamite asshole coming. Let's see if I can blow his arm up. There you go. Oh, another guy. I didn't even see him. So many axe throwers. Dead now. Thank you. Alright, now. Another velvet blue. And now we want to push this uh, lever for this trolley. And what it's going to do is going to send this this car coming down with that. And you're going to notice it's going to come down, but it's only going to come down halfway. Because the stupid Ganados, the dumbass that they are, so they overloaded the trolley. So in other words, there's not enough power to bring it down. So i got to find some kind of a power switch here to bring it down. <laughs> Oh, nice. Shotgun shells. More money. And we got more guys coming. Lovely. Another grenade guy. Let's see if I can shoot. I have a hard time against these guys. He's dead. Alright. Now we got another 
jerk here throwing uh, axes. No problem. Just take him out with the knife. Hi. Oh my god. These guys definitely got a lot harder. I mean, my gun has gotten a lot stronger. Unless, wait a minute. Huh. Yeah, it is equipped. I was like, that's weird. For a second there, it didn't look like the stock on the Red 9 is equipped, but it is. Alright, back here, easy to miss. You got 5,000 pesetas. And there's a guy here that came out of nowhere. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> okay. Watch this. Watch this. Blow up. There you go. Boom! Boom? There. Gone. Alright, now. Here's the power switch we have to hit. The circuit breaker's out. Turn it back on. And now the trolley should be activated again, but now we're going to want to equip the shotgun back on. And you'll see why in just a short second. That's why, because we got chainsaw assholes. Ugh. Alright, so the best strat I find against these chainsaw guys is honestly to just... Stay back here and wait for him to come to me. And then I'm gonna just blast his ass once he gets here. There you go. Dead. Nice and easy. Um, do I got a grenade or anything? Alright, I got incendiary grenade. I might as well use it here. I have nothing to lose, so. Nice. Get my handgun back on. There you go. Kill them all. And they say the knife doesn't come in here. Oh, great. Chainsaw guy dropped 10,000 pesetos, and my god, I'm running low on handgun ammo, it looks like. Jeez. I have to start using my shotgun a little bit more, I guess. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> now we can hit the switch, and it should bring the trolley the rest of the way down here. Um, there you go, pull the lever up. Well, there's actually like a, a little like instruction thing here somewhere, I forget where it is, where you can read that tells you how to do that, but there's no point of, of reading it, so. Anyways, it's headed to this cage here. Grab the dynamite. Cool. And now you gotta be careful here, because you have a guy that throws axe. That jerk. And we can put the dynamite on this rock and back the hell up. And the dynamite should take one of those guys out. There you go. Just like I predicted. Ah. Nice. Oh, nice. Five magnum ammo. Cool. Okay. Hand grenade. And 800, 800 pesetas. Now, this next part is an absolute pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to quit my magnum gun. Or my broken butterfly, whatever it's called, and I have a little, little strat for this. I'm only gonna, um, well, you'll see. I don't want to spoil anything. All right, there should be a few things we can get around here. Let me check. Such as first aid spray. Let's see, we also got a flash grenade here. Okay, let's run over to the other side. 
Should be some more things we could grab. This thing here, I'll show you what that's for in just a second. Alright, shotgun shells, cool. Cool. And I thought there was one more thing here. Oh, crap. Ah! Two El Gigantes! 